So I'm here on the Steemit website. Let's just open a blog post to see what's on it. And right there you can see you have images. Okay, images everywhere. So how do users add images to the blog post? This question has been asked many times before and it has also been answered. But I think, um, or well, at least I want to explain uh, what's the best solution or what's the best solution and why it's the best solution to add how to add images in a certain way because most users um, for example this um, steemit user let's see um, where the image is hosted because um, you use third-party um, providers hosting providers for images here you see that's here just the third-party provider within the um, address bar you see imager.com so um, because you cannot upload images right into onto the Steemit site you have to host the images somewhere else and uh, what's the best what's the best way um, to to host it you use a third party provider for example i've also seen imgsafe.org or in this case you see it's um Nope, somewhere I had the URL. Okay, so so the current situation is you use some third party who has a server somewhere and you upload your image to that server. You copy that URL to that, um, you copy that link to that image and include it within your post. So then you go to submit a story enter a title, put in the, the link into the reply, add a tag and post your blog post. That's the current situation. Um, I think um, Steemit, I've read somewhere on, on Steemit that they're working on it, um, that you can upload it right onto the site. I mean, that you have the option to um, upload images, but I think they're also using the solution which I'm heading for, which is uh, using the IPFS network. Uh, it's the interplanetary net, um, network, Internet, interplanetary file system. Uh, let me open the website first um, here. Um, it's a peer-to-peer -peer hypermedia protocol to make the web faster, safer and more. So the good part about it is that each content is unique. So when I upload an image and uh, this Okay, you can read the documentation to that site and watch the demo. Um, I wanted to I want to talk a little bit about it because there is this um, which open which I opened before. It's here this site ipfs.pix and if you upload it to this site, it is using this ipfs network. So I'm going back to ipfs.pix and um, so <clears throat> what's unique about it? Unique about it is the network. The network is a hypermedia network where you can upload content or uh, yeah, content like images, text, whatever. And um, each content um, will create a, a hash. And this hash is unique. As soon as you open uh, um, change, for example, only one pixel of that image, it will be a different image. So each image has a unique um, URL, which is the hash, okay? So for example, let me um, upload an image to ipfs.pix. So it's uploading the image, but um, I've uploaded this image before and it has always the same URL address. This is here the hash, and this will always stay the same, no matter when I try to upload it. And, this, and it's distributed, which means if one peer has that image somewhere, I, don't, I will not need to upload it again. So it will be distributed. The content is distributed onto many peers. That's, that's um, unique. And um, the good part about it is, like when you use the server client solution, yeah, where you have uh, where you upload it to a server somewhere um, 
the server administrator can say, well, I don't need this image anymore, I need this disk space, so I'm just going to delete it. On the IPFS network, it's not possible because um, it is distributed on, on all the peers. And um, as long as one peer has that image, then you will have access to it. Okay? So <clears throat> it's a totally different solution uh, compared to um, a normal server solution where you upload to a server hosting provider, image hosting provider. Okay, after you have, so if you right click on it, um, copy URL, and then you go back to your Steemit post, enter a title, my great title, yeah. And then you reapply your, um, uh, your um, paste, your image, and you wait a, a little, and here you see the preview of the image. So, add a tag, post it, and this will stay on the IPFS network forever, as long as someone thinks this image is cool and uh, wants to, um, or has it on their peer. Okay, so that's about, um, and I, th I think I've read it that they, um, well, the developers of Steemit want to use this solution within um, Steemit, and it would really make sense, I think. All right, <laughs> thanks for um, listening to my video, and um, see you on steemit.com.